yeah again now the train had stopped in jaipur again we got to board another one you got to come back down towards the south of the country go a little towards the east and you know you get reach the rajiv gandhi stadium in hyderabad and uh, uh, you know and you know i've got a resident resident hyderabadi of course anurag and you know it's his, his favorite team his dear team you know the guy who's gone to many 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 matches for the team as well so uh anurag how do you see how do you see your team going uh, you know i'll not even mention the i'll not even do you the disservice of mentioning the squad i'm pretty sure you know it so yeah. we'll start with you how do you how do you see the prospects of hyderabad i on a personal note again apart from mumbai i think they're the best run franchise along with mumbai so mm-hmm. you know if if that is the case you know we know we we can see another another team that can potentially be in the top 4 or if not top i mean maybe top 2 of, of the ipl so how do you see the squad panning out yeah i think this is uh, that is one area that i really take great pride in that the sunrisers hyderabad are really well managed but uh, another important aspect to consider is that the one of the pillars behind the team being so well managed is no longer a part of it and he was a pretty tall pillar mr tom moody uh, right now it's yeah. uh, trevor bailis and uh, obviously uh, a world cup winning coach uh, has come in i think that's a good life for like uh, swap uh, but i uh, talk about the squad uh, we are going to be missing david warner and johnny besto for the first game is uh, that's what i'm hearing because uh, obviously johnny besto just scored 100 today great thing uh, he'll have to travel from England to UAE and he'll has also have to you know that uh, or whatever bio bio secure bubble rules that uh, he has to follow before uh, getting before uh, be getting the clearance so i think interesting to see uh, kane williams and it was really disappointing on a personal level because uh, who doesn't love kane williams and especially the way he took over the mantle in that season when uh, sunrisers didn't have david warner and uh, he ended up doing exactly what david warner did he scored tons yeah. of Like what 738? It's a third highest individual tally in a single season. So you can uh, that, that's a sort of a mentality he brings in, and it's it's sort of a, and it is understandable why he was removed. Uh, similar to why Owen Morgan is not the captain of KKR, it's because he might not fit into the eleven. And I think it might be on a personal level, it might hurt a lot of people. But I think it's uh, it's it can be a smart choice because uh, that allows the team to fit in the likes of either Muhammad Nabi. or uh, there is a mitch marsh i think he's a f- very good hitter of the ball uh, there is a fabian allen uh, a lot of people have been talking about him so it will be interesting yeah. to see which one of these come into picture and i think uh, in the first match i think we, we will definitely see a couple of these people come into picture and there is a rashid khan he had a good tournament in the cpl i think he's done well uh, barbados didn't do well but uh, i think he was uh, he, he was pretty decent with the ball as you expect and he's only going to uh, Spinners of those quality, you know, when they find those slow tracks, they're only going to get better. So it's going it's going to be really challenging to face uh, Rashid Khan and his four rows are going to be crucial. I would personally love to see Muhammad Nabi and Rashid Khan play as many games as possible because uh, Muhammad Nabi, not to mention, was my choice uh, player of the tournament for the uh, in the Caribbean Premier League. He was absolutely magnificent, chipping in with runs, picking wickets. He was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. So I I would love to see him play the entire tournament if possible. i think that would be my four foreign players and uh, among indian players i think the bowler uh, in the bowling uh, lineup there is tina trajan who's been in the side for now three or four seasons i can't remember is yet to make his debut is uh, he's being held as the indian version of the mustafa zur rahman uh, uh, but uh, we haven't really seen him yet he, he really has that uh, a similar fizzing sort of actually bowls or scatters uh, he can uh, deceive people a lot he only has a one type of delivery uh he can't uh, move into the right hander move it into the right hander but he has uh, some great uh, techniques that i think hopefully we we'll get to see a lot of him this season and obviously the one young talent that he's uh, really taking a lot of rounds in the news is abdul samad the jammu kashmir cricketer the 18 year old so he's really i mean in the ranji trophy if you are playing at a strike rate of 112 you are yeah. you are special indeed i think that's it that's what that's all i'd say about abdul samad and i really hope to see him I, I'm really expecting the most, even uh, a lot among all Indian cricketers. That is one cricketer that I'm really looking forward to. I hope he gets some games. Uh, I might not uh, see him uh, straight away in the team, but uh, I hope he we do. And uh, also the under-19 Indian captain Priyam Garg. There is Virat Singh. Uh, that is uh, great to see from uh, Vivian Lakshman and Co. They've picked up some great young players. So yeah, let's see. I think this is our team. I think yeah, 
it goes without saying they are they're really going to be one of the favorites <laughs> pratmesh should we end the video here i don't think there is much to answer. i'll ask about hyderabad and there is not much to answer but i just I, i just have a couple of things yeah i just have a couple of things though yeah, yeah. i personally feel the afghan duo is going to be absolutely crucial as anurag said you know they have to be playing every game uh, both of them can contribute with both bat and ball so i think uh that only adds to their talents but i think both of them are good on good in the field good with the ball good with the bat i think that's that's just perfect you know lower down the order i personally feel uh this might be a little controversial but i feel that kane williamson should play about johnny based so in the uh, in in those tracks because i feel he the play spin better obviously with warner in i think you've got a left right combination with kane williamson might not open so you might see someone else you know like the manish pandey or someone else opening but i personally feel he could you could see kane williamson used more in the second half or probably even after the first three four games uh, even more because he plays spin really well and there are going to be teams who are going to try to play you know spin as quickly as possible within the match for the turning tracks so i i, I mean i i really love baster when warner that opening combination it is as explosive and as fantastic as opening combinations go in t20 but kane williamson for me is must have in that team yeah uh, you know we talk about kane williamson we talk about david warner johnny besto uh, they do also have some some really good indian players as well in their in their batting side as well as the bowling side you know abdul samad and virat singh have already been mentioned manish pandey is someone i think i would like to guys opinion on because yeah. you know he's been one of the one of the you know misses for indian cricket for me personally because I really love his ap- approach to the game. I really love the way he he's always 200% on the field. He's always. Uh, yeah. I remember, you know, one of the innings that I fondly remember from him is the century he scored in Australia while chasing a mammoth score, and he got the team to home. You know, he's always had the talent, the first century, Indian century in the IPL, and all of that goes goes sort of a sort of a veteran of the IPL now, and. Uh, you know him along with ridhiman saha shrivat goswami i think shrivat might not get a game because you know johnny besto and ridhiman saha are the two keeping options i think even saha might struggle to get a game so you know i think uh, shrivat is slightly lower down the order but in terms of the indian talent anurag uh, just as a final question on this in this uh, team you know i am i am really looking out for two players particularly i am looking out for of course beyond manish pandey i am looking out for basil thumpy and i'm looking out for uh, Sh- uh, vijay shankar vijay shankar i felt was very harshly treated after the world cup or even during the world cup when he got injured and had to be yeah. sent back to goa and you know you know and since then he's not had a look in you know i felt i felt uh, you know i know shivam dubey can hit those long ones felt vijay shankar is more stable as a batsman and you know more compact technique and said definitely a better bowler than shivam dubey i mean i am not having that so how do you see these two players and the other in this course bhuvneshwar kumar is another guy who needs to have a good ipl because he's been so consistently injured so you know to come back you know he'll definitely be in the reckoning but to stake a proper claim yeah i mean uh, you just mentioned about the point of uh, being the ipl veterans you mentioned manish pandey you mentioned ridhiman saha also shrivat goswami an interesting fact he was the first ever in the 2008 season he won the emerging player award back in 2008 Yeah. He was the first ever winner of that award. So, imagine from there to now being here, a lot of people actually don't even remember the guy. He was a part of that under-19 World Cup, which India won under Virat Kohli. Yeah. He was a very integral part of that team. Uh, yeah, game. yeah, exactly. I think he he might get a few games just in case. Uh, but uh, if uh, they're not really happy with the way Bairstow is going, as uh, Prathamesh said, I think that's a good point because uh, Johnny Bairstow. uh the couple of times he came against good spin attacks he really really struggled to get going so i think that is a really really important point so you might see the likes of shivas goswami and there is there are some other great indian talents shahbaz nadim uh, a senior pro in the indian circuit um there is priyam garg i i hope he gets some important games as well uh they have uh, roped in some uh, local talents as well i think there's only one person from the state of telangana slash andhra pradesh that has uh, entered uh, the team uh, that is uh, aside sort of disappointing because uh, you expect some at least some so sort of players to get into the team there's only sandeep bapunaka who is i i don't think i don't expect him to get a lot of games because uh, he's done well in the ranji trophies but uh, i don't it's going to be really a big struggle for him to get into the 11 but yeah and uh, siddarth kohl a couple of seasons ago when under kane williamson they reached the final he was absolutely terrific 
he needs to step up because bhuvneshwar kumar alone can't do everything uh bhuvneshwar kumar obviously is one of the most loved cricketers in the country right now he's uh, he's done it uh, time and again he he, he is a uh, one of the best death bowlers that we have after jasprit bumrah perhaps the second best definitely and uh, yeah as uh, as you've said there are there's pretty decent indian talent there uh, yeah yeah let's hope abhijit they... sharma as well the all rounder yeah exactly yeah all right uh, so uh, as a final word from you prathmesh uh, how do you see the team going and uh, you know how do you see them performing and what are the chances for the playoffs so i'll come back to anurag at the end I think they finished second. Sorry? I think they I, finished second. Second in the league? Or yeah. Second, you league. just said Mumbai will finish runners up so I think that's a bit of a catch. I, I think I think that was in the final. Yeah. Yeah, Mumbai loses the final. Oh. Oh, so if they finish the second, if they finish yeah. second, like, you know, one has to, you know, I think I think all of viewers need to watch the entire preview, you know, to they make the mental maths map of how Prathmesh is doing this IPL. That'll be interesting, you know. That'll be interesting. Something to beat him up on. Yeah. If things don't go his way. <laughs> Adra, you know, it'll be too stupid of me to ask. You know, I'm sure you will get, uh, expect them to make the playoffs. But you know, my brother is also a massive Sunrisers Hyderabad fan. I actually started with Deccan Chargers, but yeah, he's yeah. definitely a Hyderabad fan. So, how do you see your team going? Uh, you know, last season we we struggled a lot with the ball, yet we finished in the top four. So that that's what I really like. I I want to say about this when you when you have everything functioning well. uh things automatically fall into place so unless something really some great uh, sort of uh, mishap happens I, i don't expect this team to not finish in the top four i, I think they are definitely going to finish in the top four i not uh, want to commit to, to any position because there are some great teams but i i'm really i'm definitely hoping they are going to finish in the top four 